a pleasure for us to be here. We're in the second year of our Tree Campus USA program, and the Arbor Day Foundation and Toyota have decided to celebrate by selecting 10 campuses throughout the country to plant trees on, and today that's what we're here to celebrate. sustainability and now we're trying to do a lot to um, give back to the environment you know, in terms of recycling and a lot of green initiatives. We uh, at Penn constantly look for events that give us the ability to highlight different aspects about our sustainability plan and our sustainability goals. So this is one additional way of, of creating a memory or an impression on our uh, student population and hoping that they will carry that memory uh, forward. It was kind of refreshing to, to plant something like that I see every day, because other tree plantings I've done have been farther off in the city, which is, is nice, but I will probably won't see that tree again unless I like set out to go see it. But now I get to see Pete, which is what I named the tree, um, nearly every day on my way to Houston Hall for lunch. As we uh, plan to replant our urban forest, it's really important to have multiple partnerships. It's a huge job, and I'm delighted that Toyota is joining in this partnership to regreen America's cities and campuses. Corporations, especially like Toyota and the big manufacturers, they use a lot of the environments. Um, so I think that, you know, morally they should give back just because they're using it. But also, I guess, it's the human side. Even if they weren't using a lot of the resources, natural resources that are out there, um, they have a lot of wealth. I think they, they would be able to make a greater, um, a much bigger difference than I could make. It's important for individuals to get out there and do things like tree plantings, but it's just as important for corporations to support that and make it known that they're, they're a green corporation. <laughs> Students love it. Uh, they take a certain ownership of the campus. But they, when they take that ownership, they kind of take care of the place even better. They respect it more. They, it's kind of their trees now. And they have something invested in it, which is a great thing. I, I mean, I live here. For, I'm going to be here for the next three years. So I can just point it out to other people that it's a tree I helped plant. It just feels very rewarding. And so this is both ways. I think I'm putting in some effort, but also at the same time, I'm definitely getting something back. So I think it's definitely a two-way street, and it is making a difference. It's for these students to be able to come back in the future and just see that they actually made a, uh, made a lasting impression on this campus in, in terms of actually putting something, doing something tangible to enhance the sustainability of this, of this university. This is Pete. He's a cherry tree, probably Chinese or Japanese. We dug um, Pete a hole and we made sure not to cover too much of his um, lower trunk level um, because as you can see on like trees, they're not, they don't go like poles straight into the ground. Um, they spread out and you don't want to cover that on a tree. And we've done a mound of mulch to help uh, gather water and nutrients. And hopefully Pete is going to blossom into another beautiful cherry tree like you see around Penn campus. And in like 20 years when I come back, I can show my kids, that's Pete the tree. I helped him find a home. <laughs>